Hello my soccer universe and welcome to the first part of the Euro 2024 jersey review. Usually I do it in six parts, this time due to time constraints I decide let's do it three parts. So we have groups A and group B in part one, C and D in part two and E and F in part three. Kinda makes sense. Within each group we will look at the jerseys of each team by going alphabetically through the team using the English name for the team. And then each jersey will be rated on a scale from one to ten. One being the worst, 10 being the best. In addition, I actually went through the entire procedure of ranking the jerseys from worst to best. So you will see a little number there that tells you where I put this jersey in the entirety of all 52 jerseys. So one, of course, being the best, 52 being the worst, both of which we will see in this video already. Little spoiler there. The pictures I've taken mostly from Football Kick Archive, some website I can warmly recommend, but sometimes also went to the manufacturer's uh, website to decide if there's a better picture out there or not, you know, higher resolution and so on. And I would say, with all the preamble, let's get started. And we'll start with the best jersey of the entire tournament, in my opinion. I cannot look away from this Germany home jersey. Yes, it is very Germany, and yes, it's very Adidas template. And we'll see a lot of Adidas template in here. But I have to say, for the Germany jersey, it just works the best. I mean, the pièce de résistance is, of course, the shoulders with the gradient in the German flag, which also has the same pattern as the 94 Germany home jersey. It is just an absolutely awesome, wonderfully crafted jersey. The one thing is that two black slivers coming down from the bottom, they might look weird, but in conjunction with the entire kit, the pants where this uh, continues, this looks really fine. And I also have to say, if I will ever get this jersey, and it is on my list, I would need to get it in long sleeves, because then the sleeves also have the gradient into the flag, so it goes then from yellow, red to black on the bottom, and there it just takes it to an entirely new level. 10 star. It is an absolutely gorgeous, well-crafted jersey. I really think they're having the flag shoulders and then also having the adidas stripes in white on it it's so smart it's really so smart i've seen this jersey in play when i saw the germans women's team it is an absolutely great looking jersey something i cannot so much say for the away jersey i mean the design is great the colors i think i'm kind of sort of almost right but it's not germany to me i know it's new germany and so on so i guess there you go it gives me a lady of liberty feel but you know the purple gradient into the pink mm, yeah I think if it was just pink or just purple, I think I would like it a little bit better. It's also one of the jerseys, and that's why maybe starting with Germany was not the smartest idea, because uh, while it's the Adidas template, all of the pattering on there kind of hide away the other things that uh, make this entire template. It's a decent jersey. I mean, initially I rated it much lower at the moment. It sits at 36, so kind of in the lower middle of all the jerseys in there. It's definitely Marmite jersey. I'm kind of neutral with it. Five stars, you know, I don't really know where to put it. A little bit worse, and now we are Adidas template, the new Adidas template, and I gotta say, it is interesting because it kind of takes this team guys idea of having kind of a lot of curves and then all connecting together with the pants. That is nice, but I don't like it when every little patch needs to be colored. And this is for me the biggest downturn for this Hunger jersey. Yes, it's a classic Adidas Hunger jersey. It's exactly what you would expect to be. It's a red jersey with all the logos on there and a little bit Adidas templating. What annoys me a little bit is the white patches on the top. And then the green sleeves on the bottom. I think they are kind of just all right, but the white... Was this really necessary? Couldn't this also have been green? And then I think you also missed the trick that, you know, you have a color that is kind of uh, has three bands. You could have put a Hungarian flag there. You could have used the three stripes to make a Hungarian flag. If the white patches are red and maybe even everything is red and you make that, then I think you have an absolutely gorgeous jersey. But this one, mm, yeah, sits middle to me. I give it a four star. It's just too templatey and you see it sits at number 40 
2. The Avagers, it does more or less the same thing, however, it has a few really nice tricks up its sleeves. Like this jersey that I'm wearing, which is far superior in my opinion, it actually incorporates the Hungarian flag, but in a very subtle way. First off, we have the slivers here on the bottom that have a Hungarian flag in there, but it's also with the patches in green and then the red stripes on top actually combined to Hungarian flag. I think this is quite well done and you have the same effect more or less around the collar, although probably a full Hungarian flag would be a little bit better. So that's why I have elevated this uh, jersey more or less towards the middle. It's a six star, I mean it's not exciting, but it sits at number 29 if I would rank it overall. Going to Scotland, Scotland have a really wild home jersey. Adidas Egg actually have done a really good job with Scotland jerseys as of late. This one I think is a putting it a little bit too much out there. Yes, you want to have another tartan jersey, I totally get it. But I'm not sure if this asymmetric look is the right way to go about it. I don't mind the yellow accents and you know the white, but you know, I'd rather probably have only the yellow or only the white and not a mixture of these. It's a mad jersey for me. I gave it a five star rating. It sits number 37 overall, so not looking great. However, it looks to me much better than this away jersey, which is just blah. I mean, at the purple accents I get, but what's that color? Is this a light bluish or whatever? It just looks so boring. I mean, it has an interesting pattern on the side. That's maybe one thing that saves it, but it's one of my least favorite jerseys in the entire tournament, sitting at number 45. I gave it a three star rating. I just don't get it. Let's put it this way. Similarly, Switzerland, and this is the new Puma template, and maybe the Swiss jersey is one of the worst exponent of, of it. You have a weird color that is kind of in two phases. You have, and you don't see this here in the, in the picture, on the back, you have a band uh, going below the number that kind of then allows you to uh, color the bottom differently. And in fact, the Swiss jersey is worn then with dark red pants that have then also a band, and then it goes to red again, which looks Looks kind of interesting, but honestly, I'm not a huge fan of this Swiss jersey overall. I think it's too messy. Uh, then you have this pattern, this uh, pinstrap pattern in there, which is nice, but it gets completely lost with all the other things going on. And again, why do we have the square Swiss flag? I know this is the Swiss flag. Roundel, roundel, roundel. I will always uh, want to see that. It's not a good jersey, it sits at 44, I gave it a 3 star, I just cannot get behind this one, this is not a good Swiss jersey. And even worse is the away jersey, a, I, the pattern is probably has something to do, you know, a map with mountains, blah blah blah, but what do the colors have to do actually with Switzerland? Dark blue, light blue. And then you have a Swiss flag that completely looks lost out there, I guess it's something with glaciers or whatever. It's not a great jersey. It's, uh, it doesn't scream Switzerland to me. One of my least favorites, I gave this one two star, but just being not Swiss enough. Let's move over to group B, where we start out with Albania. And the Albania jerseys are all really interesting, very nice Macron creations. They have the double eagle from the Albania crest all over as a front pattern. I gotta say that the red home jersey is probably the weakest one of all of, of, of them. I don't like that the crest is kind of hidden away. I know that the black double-headed eagle on the red shield, this is more or less a reference to the Albanian flag. It's not a bad jersey, you see it is a 20, but overall I, I only gave it a six star rating. I like the alternatives better. Look at this white jersey. Suddenly the crest really sticks out, it's the same template. But to me this looks already a whole lot better. It also helps that black and white are really high contrast colors. I really like this one. I gave this seven stars and it sits already in the top 10. This is number eight. So much, much, much better than the home jersey. However, the best of them is the black jersey because it's just black in a sea of red jerseys that we have at the years. This was an absolute standout. The black Albania jerseys in general have been highlights as of late. This one might be the best that they have ever done, Macron. I absolutely love the thin red stripes on the side. I love how Macron logo and Albania crest both have a strong red connection there. Gorgeous jersey. I gave this one a full nine stars and of course it sits third in the rating. So we've seen number one, we've seen number three 
already. Let's go to the very, very bottom, Croatia. Uh, it is not the worst jersey. That's Cup coming up soon. But this Croatia home jersey, what were they thinking? I mean, we Croatia's checkers have been getting bigger and bigger and bigger, and it's not for the better. Croatia looks back its best if the checkers are a little bit smaller. And I understand you want to innovate, you want to take some something new. But this half-half checkered look is just absolutely awful. And, you know, it also makes the logos look a little bit high. It's completely out of place. This is just horrific. Absolutely hor horrific. Panned ev everywhere to me in the clear one star jersey. It's only 51. So there is something worse coming. Fortunately, the away jersey lifted up. And you know, if you make a home jersey with the same design in red and white instead of dark blue and light blue, and then add a little bit blue slivers, I think you're onto something really cool. And I usually liked my Croatia away jerseys to be blue and then have the checkers showing up somewhere. But I think this one is of the kind of unicolor level, one of the better ones. I really love that you still have the checkerboard pattern in there, but you also have, have a little bit of red adding some interest. The crest really stands out. This is a really, really good jersey. So how different they can be. I have this at number nine and I gave this jersey a full seven stars. Oh, it's good work by Nike, I gotta say. Italy, oh, Adidas and Italy is a story that, you know, you, you know, I'm not a big fan of these. Um, I was sort of excited when I heard that the Italy jersey will have the three stripes in the Italian flag colors. All right. But then the oral jersey oh, is just so nice, it's just so template Adidas. I guess that the white on the coming on from the bottom is all right. But what I really hate is you see already on the sides that the blue is a little bit darker towards the bottom. It looks really odd. The pattern is kind of a matrix pattern on there. Yeah, all right. The new it Italy crest is just such a down crest of the last one we had for Puma that I cannot see much past it as well. And I think that the white strap is just way too thin on that one. The collar, I would love that it goes around. Uh, it's There's just too many things not to like. It's, it's kind of middle. It's okay, but it's not great. So it's just a, th a number 34 and I gave it a five star rating, which is better than this away jersey, which to me is the worst jersey of the entire tournament. Too many colors. And yes, it's the Italian flag and then you add a little, little bit blue, but either you go all for the Italian flag, look, half, half, or you add the blue, but don't do it all at once. I find this just ugly. And then, you know, every single patch here is colored differently to make it stand out. I think I would be fine if you say on the on the top, you make this white and then you have maybe the slivers in the two colors, but it's just so in your face and yeah. At least make an Italy flag around the collar, maybe. It, it, it's just horrific. I, I absolutely detest this jersey. This is so un Italian as it can be, despite using the Italian flag colors. Blech. Worst jersey, tied to them at one star, of course. Spain, yes. You know, this is how you kind of can do it. You use only two colors you use the red and you use the yellow. And while this might look weird for Spain, because we always used to navy, I actually think this works kind of. Is it a great jersey? No, but it's again, kind of middle of the park overall. And it also helps that Spain has only a flag with two colors. So the color here has a Spain flag. We have Spain flag here. We have Spain flag here. Works kind of well. Maybe the crest, if they would use a more full colored crest as they did, for instance, on the Spain jersey hanging here behind me, this could elevate the jersey a little bit. But you know, it is also middling, but it is so much better than this Italy jersey, both of them, because it kind of makes a little bit more sense in the overall context of a Spain jersey. Six stars. It's not great, but it's also not bad, which is not something I can say for this away jersey. Another abomination by Adidas. It sits also very much on the bottom. I gave it two stars. My biggest gripe with that one are just the colors. I mean, this light yellow and then red, but especially where's the blue coming from? And why all these baby colors? It, it, it's just, it doesn't look like anything decent. So really hate this jersey. It sits at 49, but yeah, this Spain jersey, pff, not good. So yeah, that is part one. We saw a whole lot of bad shirts in these two groups. 
at least we saw also the best and the third best jersey in there. So yeah, uh, it was very polarizing overall. Let me know which jersey in here did you like, which you don't like, uh, where you agree and disagree with me. Thumbs up, enjoyed this video and I'll talk to you soon about more things in my soccer universe. Bye. Hey there, I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you may enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and hit the little bell icon so you get notified whenever something happens in my soccer universe. And with that, have a wonderful day. Bye.